Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading I'm sharing this morning is from Galatians chapter 2 verses 20 and 21 from the King James Version. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness comes by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Here ends the reading. These verses from Galatians are a couple of my favorites. I think on them often. And there seems to be a lot of confusion about whom, who saves whom, who it is that makes us righteous. Again, I remind everyone that we, you and I, cannot save ourselves. We also cannot save anyone else. Only Jesus saves. It is by grace alone, through faith alone, and Christ alone that we are saved. Do not frustrate the grace of God because there are no good works that will make us righteous. There is nothing that we can do to save ourselves. No, not a thing. Our righteousness, our salvation, are purely gifts from God, purchased for us by the blood of his only begotten Son. If it were actually possible for us to do so much good that it outweighed the evil that we have done, then Jesus would have suffered and died on the cross for nothing. That does not mean that good fruit is not produced by the Christian. More aptly, it is produced through the believer. For when we are baptized into Christ, into his death, Christ abides in us and we in him. When we are baptized into Christ, we are crucified with Christ. We die to ourselves and he, his abiding presence, works through us. It is Christ in us who does good things through us. We ought to humble ourselves and remember that without Christ we can do nothing good. But with him, all things are possible. Jesus likened to himself to the vine. We are the branches of the vine. As in all plant growth, the branch cannot bear fruit except it be attached to the vine. In Matthew chapter 15, we read, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. So be careful about showing off your piety. The Pharisees did that and they did not love Jesus. They loved the law. Do not exalt yourself because you consider yourself so good because you chose Jesus. Remember, long before you were even born, God chose you. He chose to die for you. That is the good news. He died for you because you and I were not good enough to enter into the presence of God. But now we are because of Jesus' good work on the cross, not because of anything that we do. Jesus did not die in vain. He loves us so much that he was willing to humble himself and die on that cross for us sinners, that we might live life in the presence of God, in the heavenly kingdom where peace, love, and hope no no boundaries. And may the abiding presence of our Lord Jesus Christ abide in you and you in him, that you might produce good fruits. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.